well, this is fine, but what if I want to know what other people have selected before I actually decide what I want to eat? Um, why don't I get a list of what everybody else has selected? Well, um, we can do that. Uh, first thing we need to do is, since we know we're going to be querying the database every time when this page loads, let's go ahead and move this stuff out of this section, out of the section where it's only if there's a post, because no matter what, we're going to want to open up the database and, and connect to that particular table, that particular database. So let's go ahead up here, and before we even do the doc type, we'll do a PHP, and we'll kind of open up the database, and that's the end of the PHP. So before we do anything else on the page at all, we're going to go ahead and connect Q to, the, to our database, and we're going to select a database. So that's all taken care of before anything else happens. Now down here, I'll go ahead and we, this part still makes sense. We can still check to see if there's a post. We can still check the stuff and sanitize it and then do a, a an insert. Um, but down here is the part where no matter whether there's a post or not, what should you do? Oops, that MySQL close we don't want there either. So let's take that out and we'll put it down here at the very bottom after everything else. PHP, oops, PHP. MySQL close and okay, I give up. Um, <laughs> here we go. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right, so um, MySQL close. Um, so in here we have the query. Let's go ahead in this part right here before we have the form actually display. Oh well, why don't we do it right before that? We'll do a quick. Um, Typing is not my friend today. Uh, other people have picked. And then we'll do a listing of what other people have picked. And we need to do that in PHP. So once again, we're going to do a query. In this case, we've already selected, uh, set up the database and selected it. Let's go ahead and do, um, this time we're going to set results um, equal to uh, MySQL query. So MySQL query we use for any kind of SQL query. And we're going to do select everything from Ice Cream Social, which is the name of the title, the, the table. So what this says is select everything from Ice Cream Social. Awesome. And then what we can do is we can fetch all of the, the results from that resu those results. So we're going to use a while loop. And while um, a record equals, well, I will say row. While row equals MySQL, MySQL fetch array from the results. So this is a little bit of a strange use of while. Just to indicate what this is, this is actually something that's called a queue. And what it does is it pops results off the top of this one by one and assigns them to row until there is nothing left and then it's done with the while statement. So inside of here we can echo the row and in the row we're going to have each of the record items. So we're going to have a name and then we'll just kind of do a, a this is remember dot for something else. So that name wants and then we'll do another dot um, let's go ahead and do the, sco the scoops. Do we need to sanitize this on the way back out? No, we know what it is. So we'll do that number of, of uh, scoops of, and then we'll do the flavor. Row um, flavor. And we should probably have a period and an end of the paragraph. We probably should have started with a paragraph tag. Okay, so what this does is does start paragraph, end paragraph. In between there it does whatever the name in this row is, um, a colon and a space, how many scoops, and then a scoops of, and then the flavor. And then it does this over and over and over and over again. We need to close out the PHP. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> And we'll save this, and we'll upload it, overwrite, let's see how this works, we'll go ahead and load it again, 
and it says other people have picked Alex Halavay, two scoops of lime, Bob, one scoop of cherry, someone, three scoops of green, Rrr, Rrr, 20 to 255 scoops of chocolate, and this is the three scoops of lime. So basically it's kind of laid this all out. Now we could do that in a table. If we wanted to do that in a table, we'd just do a table and then we'd use the TR and TD tags here to table it out to make it look pretty. But this works as well. 